Hi everyone, I hope we're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. I am your favorite YouTuber. Today, we're gonna be talking about the one thing you must stop doing in order to get the best life possible. I promise when you stop doing this one thing, your life is gonna get 100% better and there is no effort required on your part. But before we get into it, you are more than welcome to subscribe on this channel. I talk about all things the law of assumption. So if that sounds good to you, I would love to have you here. You also wouldn't want to miss out on one-on-one -on -one coaching with me where I guide you to your desired reality step by step. What I can say for a fact is that my emails are laced with literal magic. If you would like to be spoiled, if you would like the attention to be all on you, if you would like to get your desire as quickly as possible with with me in the ringer with you sign up today at ritakaminski.com or click on the very first link in the description box down below i know you want to here's the thing right when we stop talking about the unfavorable circumstances in our lives we are able to get every single thing that we want let me tell you why when i am constantly complaining that i hate this weather this weather is cold oh my god it's so rainy i am giving that thing attention that is an unfavorable circumstance and i am consistently keeping that in my reality let's just say for laughs that you do not create your reality. I can't even say that with a straight face. Even if that is the case, if you are constantly talking about bad weather, you are consistently keeping it in your reality. Let's just say one day something clicked in your mind and you start complaining about the weather. Instead of using your precious energy to open your mouth up and speak about the rain, how cold it is, how you have to go to the shops and buy a new jacket, oh my god, do I even have enough money for a new jacket? When is it gonna be summer already? I can't even go out, I have seasonal depression, whatever it may be. Those conversations that you have with yourself or with your best friend or your boyfriend or your co-worker or anyone, you are giving Giving that thing attention and that thing is being pushed into your reality just by the pure sheer fact that you are living in it now because you are imagining your seasonal depression how cold it is that feeling of frostbite in your body so let's just say you start talking about the things that you do like in your life or the things that you do want in your life like you know what summer is so exciting i can't wait for that trip that i'm going to book that's gonna be so much fun oh my god i just saw this photo on instagram i saw this photo of fiji and it looks absolutely beautiful i love that feeling of a tropical vibe i love feeling like an island girl like i can't wait to see that in my reality i just remember when i went on this vacation with my family and we had the funnest time together i loved that time in my life and if you're able to have this non-resistant conversation with yourself or with someone else you get into that positive energy you are now experiencing through talking about it to other people that of you being in a warm environment you being happy you reminiscing on the good times i also want to quickly say that yes you can assume that anything that you talk about doesn't matter because you get your shit period but for those who are new to this and do not want to just assume that this is going to help even if you don't talk about the good things in your life or the things that have happened in your past that have been amazing you just have a clear channel to talk about anything that you may want and you let those bad things like the cold weather die you might start noticing that the weather somehow begins to be great you might notice that by having fun and ordering yourself an amazing cappuccino that is so delicious you are having the time of your life you may even get into the winter vibes Get yourself the cutest candle, snuggle up by the fire and have yourself some roasted marshmallows. <laughs> by doing these things, you are able to kill off 
and dissolve the unfavorable circumstances because you're not living in them anymore even if you are physically you're making the most of it and you're able to see and live through things that you actually love you are turning an unfavorable circumstance into something amazing even if you don't even if you literally just stop talking about it i promise you that bad circumstance that bad weather is going to go away magically without you having to lift a single finger. So I'm gonna give you an example from my own personal life. We moved into this house about two months ago and there is a beautiful garden here. But the thing is that in the evening, there are garden roaches outside that like to forage around in the bushes. We quickly came to find out that those roaches somehow like coming into our kitchen area in the evening. I must admit roaches are my biggest phobia in life. I gotta keep it real with you. I literally started crying the first two days because we came home from shopping. We put the groceries down and I saw a big fat garden roach just sitting there and I literally jumped out of my skin, started crying. My boyfriend started calming me down. So. Again, I was reacting for a little bit. I am human. However, I reminded myself, no, I'm not gonna pay this unfavorable circumstance any attention. And guess what happened? After a couple of days, they completely disappeared, nowhere to be seen. They have not come back since and it has been six weeks. As Neville Goddard says, you think that you can do something, but you can do nothing in order for your manifestation to come. So instead of consciously manifesting those roaches away, I simply stopped giving them any attention because any limiting belief, any unfavorable circumstances, doesn't matter what it is, it is only here to bully you and to give you the opportunity to level up. As soon as you turn the other cheek, it dissolves and you level up in life, leading you ultimately to everything that you desire. Okay, so what do I mean by level up in life? When you diminish that limiting belief, something that you were scared of in the past, you actually see it for what it is, absolute fucking bullshit. So as soon as you see that, you're like, Oh, it's another feedback loop for you to understand that it is whatever I say it is. Um, all these unfavorable circumstances actually are a lie because you keep seeing them in your reality as bullshit because they literally fade away after you ignoring them. So instead of letting those roaches control me, I control those motherfucking roaches by simply just ignoring them and they get blasted, ejecto cedoed out of my reality. Yes, thank you. That's exactly what it is. Do not fucking pay attention to these roaches in your life. You are above it all. You are bigger than the roaches. Let them scatter away. So I talk about not even thinking about unfavorable circumstances in your mind because circumstances never matter. But I want you to try this for just one day. If you are someone who constantly talks about your negative circumstances, even if you have been in the law of assumption game for a long time and you find yourself still complaining here and there, I want you to do this one thing for me for one day. For one day only, I want you to completely eradicate complaining, talking about what it is that you do not want and watch after 24 hours how your life turns around. You will find that your life starts to turn around even within 24 hours. You will start seeing things that you do like in your reality. You will start seeing the things that you do not like disappear, dwindle away. For example, if your mom is talking crap to you and she's saying, why haven't you washed the dishes? Or what are you gonna do with your life? Do not entertain it. Be kind, be relaxed as much as possible, as hard as it may be. Just see what happens after 24 hours. I can promise you, your mom will calm down and stop regurgitating those things to you out loud. I urge you to continue doing this for the rest of your life. Do not speak about the things that you do not like and highlight the things that you do love in your mind or the things that you want. Talk about those things more. Even if it's something as simple as a treat that is so beautiful and you're genuinely appreciating it or the yummy food that you are having for lunch. This will bring all of the manifestations that you have ever wanted to your life effortlessly. I promise you guys. And with that being said, I trust that this video gave you the guidance that you needed. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because I know you loved it. I hope you have an amazing day and I'll 
I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone.